Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of Borderlands 2, and today I want to talk to you all about Borderlands 2, One Life, and Ninja Krieg, and why exactly I keep doing these things. I feel like I owe you all the explanation, as I felt a little bit of a disconnect between myself and the YouTube audience, so it's time to stop doing everything on Twitch and actually explain what the hell's going on. So, first off, let's go ahead and go over Borderlands 2. Why do I continue playing Borderlands 2 over, you know, other games such as Destiny and what have you? Well, I've been playing Borderlands 2 for many years now, and, well, there's a certain project that I created about a year ago that um, is called One Life. For those who are not aware of what One Life is, it's basically a hard, a hard mode difficulty that's self-inflicted, where you have to try and beat as much of the game as you can without dying a single time. This project that I started, when I started for myself, I got mildly obsessed with. I want to actually beat this game, and until I actually beat the challenge known as One Life, I don't feel like I can continue on. Maybe it's just me being crazy, but this is a project that I started a year ago, and I want to actually finish it. And based on our progress right now, we're setting ourselves up for finally finishing this project that has been a year in the works. So that is why I re revived Ninja Krieg. For those who are wondering the origins of Ninja Krieg, he is basically the first psycho that made it into UVHM during the One Life event and actually made it all the way up to OP levels, which was kind of crazy at the time. So we called him Ninja Krieg because there was a little bit of a stealthy bit and we had some fun with that. So that's the reason that I keep playing Borderlands 2. I know some people say that it can get kind of old and repetitive, and I've been playing it for so long, and I can agree with them to that point. I really can, but it's just sort of who I am that I can't really move on until I finish this project. And then once I finish this project, I can move on to other projects, such as Destiny. I'll go ahead and go over my Destiny complaints right now. Now, I don't hate the game. I really don't. I actually really do enjoy it. Now, I will say that I'm forced to play on a controller, and nothing against consoles, but I can't play with a controller. I'm really, I have a really bad aim with it. I'm a mouse and keyboard at heart, and I'm hoping that Destiny 2 will be uh, on the PC just for the simple fact that I'll have mouse and keyboard support. I really don't care if it's on a PS4, I just need to be able to aim correctly. But my issues with Destiny is that I had a really bad start into it. When I first started playing Destiny, I had internet connections, you know, or internet issues with my connections all day, every day, and as you know, Destiny is an always online game, and I don't have a problem with always online games. I've played games like World of Warcraft, Diablo, things like that. I have no issues with it. It's just my connection at the time was making it nearly impossible to play uh, Destiny for almost up to a month and a half, and then pre-sequel came out, and the internet connections still were an issue, so I couldn't even stream at that point, so... For about two months after Destiny's launch, I couldn't really do anything. And I really felt like that hurt my Destiny audience, as well as my YouTube growth in general. Now, when I end up do finishing One Life, which should hopefully be within a week or so, depending on how much progress we make this weekend, then what I plan on doing is deleting all of my characters inside of Destiny and having just a fresh start. I want to move on to a new chapter for my YouTube and my Twitch, but I need to have a solid start. Starting from where I was for me, it's, it, it just won't work. I'm very awkward like that, in that if I want to have a fresh start, I need to have a true fresh start. That's why I like starting completely over from level one. Maybe that's just a side effect of one life where in order for me to have a fresh start, I need to just completely start a new character. So when I start Destiny again, I'll be deleting all of my characters and going from level 1 all the way to 20, going over all the tips, tricks, guides, and all of that and what have you, and having, you know, basically reliving what I couldn't have the month and a half with the internet connection in those problems. So you'll probably see a bunch of guides that you may have seen on other channels or things like that, but in order for me to really, I guess you could say, relive it, I have to relive it in that way alone. That's just who I am and how I want to produce my content. And I want to have a better... And, and another reason that I want to start over is because I want to be able to have a nice YouTube connection with you guys here. You know, it really, I've been doing a lot of things on Twitch and kind of expecting people to watch Twitch. And that's just small of me. 
I really need to be better at getting more content to the YouTube audience and having a better connection. And mostly is that I have felt that I shouldn't upload large eight hour videos, but you all have been asking for large eight hour videos, so I'll probably end up doing that or something to that effect. But that is pretty much my thought process on why exactly I continue to play Borderlands 2, even though it's years old, there's no content for it, and I just keep having fun with it. And that is my reasoning for not doing Destiny at this current time. I don't feel like it's really right right now for me, and if I don't feel it's right, then I feel like the content that I'm going to be producing for you is not going to be right as well. I hope that you all can understand my train of thought here, and I want to thank you all for giving me your time so that I could really explain who's Krieg, what's Borderlands, why do I keep playing it, why no Destiny, and all of that good stuff. I want to start bringing more commentaries to you like this, as they are really nice and gives you a little bit of an in insight as to why exactly I do things. So let me know how you all feel in the comment section below. If you like this kind of commentary, be sure to hit that like button. Let lets me know that, hey, you like this, and all that good stuff. Hitting that like button on my videos is actually very supportive, and all that, it, it really does show me that you enjoy the content. So, thank you for that. And if you happen to come across this and you're not subscribed, well then, consider subscribing. I'll be making a lot more content in the future. Anyway, thank you all for 6 minutes and 40 seconds of your time. I'll catch you all in the next video, everybody. Later.